Hi you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today. And right now what we're going to fix is some cheddar broccoli rice and some um, buttermilk biscuits. And we're going to fix um, some baby backs uh, spare ribs with a uh, special rub and sauce. So, I got all of these Irish coupon in of course. Um, so this meal is definitely $10. And it will feed four to six people, as all of my meals do. And I'm going to show you how to actually put a rub on your ribs, as well as all of the seasons that you need to incorporate. Um, our cheddar broccoli rice is cooking. Our buttermilk biscuits are cooking as well. What I'm going to do is just for the sake of convenience and also the sake of being able to season it well I'm going to break this rack of ribs in half by slicing down the middle of the meat and you want to avoid the bone when you're doing this and you should get two big halves like so okay and again that's just mainly so that we can fit it into the pan like this and that we can season it very well on both sides. Now, let's start with telling you what seasons we're going to use. We're going to use some Obey. We're going to use some meat tenderizer. Poultry seasoning. Ground black pepper. Adobe, Memphis style barbecue seasoning, garlic powder, we're going to use some honey, we're going to use some Creole seasoning, you need some brown sugar. And as you can see, you didn't see me use any salt. The reason for that is because all of these items mainly, besides the pepper of course, already has a mixture of different things in it. For one, whenever you're getting a seasoning that is a mixture or mixed seasoning, it's going to have a few elements in it automatically that you may not know. For one, it's going to have a little bit of pepper or cayenne pepper, but it's going to have some heat substance. For two, it's going to already have salt incorporated in it. And for three, it's going to have sometimes some pepper or, um, if I didn't say already heat involved in it, I'm sorry. It's going to have, um, oh, it's going to have a little bit of garlic in it, usually. That's when you're getting a seasoning that already has a blend in it, um, or is a blended seasoning. If you don't believe me, you can always look on the back of any of your containers. This is a barbecue seasoning and I'm just going to read off to you just so you all can know and you can be more aware of what's in your um, your seasonings that you're using and also you'll know that you don't have to always incorporate extra salt um, because of health reasons and also because of taste reasons because it sometimes can be a little too salty. First ingredient on here is salt. Chili powder, red pepper, I told you it's going to have some kind of heat factor, whether that's pepper, regular black pepper, maybe white pepper, or some kind of chili or uh, red pepper. In this case, red pepper it has uh, garlic powder. As I said, most of them are going to have a garlic as, as well element. Onion powder and some stuff I can't pronounce, which is not good, but yeah, that's what we're going to have. <laughs> and uh, that's just a little bit of background for you guys just to uh, make you more aware and also you'll see why I don't have to always incorporate salt into my dishes um, Now with the meat we're going to Season both sides because you don't have nothing worse than to have Meat that is only good on one side. You don't want that now. We're going to start with our dry rub And our dry rub is just incorporating all of these seasonings 
on both sides. We're starting with our, because we want our meat turned upward. So you're going to do the rib side, the part that has all the membrane and things like that. That's the side that you're going to start off first seasoning because that side is going to be the side that's going to be going down in the pan. Again, starting with the dry rub, and this is because when you just have a wet rub, sometimes the seasonings and things like that slides off and all of the goodness is actually in the pan, and that's when you're also going to get your one-sided uh, good flavored meat. We're not going to do the one side thing. So to make sure that every cut of meat that you have is full of this flavor, yeah, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you do your dry rub first. Now what we're going to do is when we do our wet rub, and that's going to consist of a few things. That's going to consist of honey, brown sugar, a little bit of ketchup. Now if you don't want to do that, you can buy your store-bought um, barbecue sauce and just add to it. And that's what we're going to do right now. Um, we're going to use a good sauce, Jack Daniels um, Honey Smokehouse. And I'm just going to add to this uh, sauce with the honey and the brown sugar. Okay. Now I'm doing the Obe and Adobe. And what we're going to do is with that sauce, we're going to reserve half of that. We're going to reserve half of that to baste after the meat is done and then put it back in the oven for like another four or five minutes reason why we do that is so that your uh, your uh, ribs come out with the um, amount of sauce that you actually like because the sauce is going to dry up a little bit so that's why we want to reserve some so that we can rebaste it um, once more now I've already seasoned one side and it looks like this this is the dry rub and you want to rub that in too that's when you get the hence the term rub dry rub you want to rub that and massage that into the meat the reason for that is because again it will trans um it will transfer off so you want to definitely get that meat you want to get that seasoning down in that meat as much as possible now we're going to flip it over And we're going to do and repeat that process on the other side. Now, if you're worrying about measurements as far as the seasons that I'm using for a rack of, if you're looking for just the measurements for a rack of ribs, the seasonings, I would say I'm using probably approximately between a half a teaspoon. Okay. I'm sorry, a half a tablespoon. Okay. And that's about this amount. And I'm using that on each side of all of these seasonings. So. Just repeating the same process of the seasonings once more. You're going to preheat your oven while we're doing this. And you're going to preheat it for about 375 and you're just going to bake this for about I would say about a mm, I would say about an hour what I would do is bake it for about an hour and then turn it down on real low and then let it go a little bit longer and then put some more sauce on it that basically just makes it fall off the bowl literally. And I'm so glad that you guys are looking at the uh, video with uh, not only my hauls but you're looking at the videos I'm trying to show you guys how to coupon and I actually break it down. I've already did the CVS ad and I showed you literally you can get a mess load. I'm talking about literally about a whole couch load of stuff. Um, if you lay it on your couch, literally it'd be a couch load of stuff and you can get a whole couch worth of stuff 
for twenty dollars and I showed you actually how to do that and that way it takes the brain work out of it for you um, I know you guys are busy I'm busy as well but I have dedicated myself um, to helping others in this way and I truly go by the motto um, of uh, God's word says you know you give a man a fish he'll eat for a day but you teach that man to fish he'll eat for a lifetime so this is my way of teaching you guys how to fish so all right you guys um we did the other side and this is the side that you want to be up when you put it in the oven now what we're going to do is go ahead and work some of the sauce in as far as the rice I just fixed I had got as you can see on that haul that I just did uh, day for yesterday I got uh, 24 uh, containers of different varieties of um, like your rice aroni products or whatever I got 24 of those for four dollars and fifty cents so I'm just using two boxes um, just whip up a you know open up a can of vegetables any kind that you like put that on the side and the buttermilk biscuits we got from a haul that we did when I got the $1,600 worth of stuff for $371. You can see that uh, video as well. And it should be labeled as such. And those came from that haul. And I had coupon for those uh, buttermilk biscuits and they were free. So... Right now, all I'm doing is just making sure I put the brown sugar. Brown sugar. And all of my... All of my barbecue sauce that's store-bought. And you just want to customize. You want to give it a custom flavor by adding that honey and that barbecue. I'm sorry, the honey and the brown sugar on top of your already store-bought sauce that just kicks it up an extra notch for you and I will show you in a second what your dry and wet rub ribs should look like Again, as far as all the seasonings, you want to use, like I said, about a half of a um, tablespoon. And that's this size. But you want to do that on both sides, you guys. Okay. Put all my seasonings together. I'm trying to maintain some organization. And I'll zoom in for you guys so you can see. I'm going to wipe my table off. This is what they should look like. Now that's how they look, you guys, not cooked. So you can just imagine how they look smoke, uh, smoky and slow cooked. Pair that, as I said, with some. Um, maybe some rice a or something, the biscuits, and also maybe some iced tea on the side and a vegetable, a meal for $10 or less. This cost about $10 altogether because the meat was about $8. But all this red for $8, it was buy one going free, pay $15, so I got two for $15. So it was about $7.50 actually for these ribs. The sauce I couponed with, but you can get it for a dollar. And um, the rest was free for me. And I'll show you how you can do that as well. So make sure you comment, subscribe. Love you all, and I'll show you the end results when it's done. Be blessed.